Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Have you ever wondered how a stranger could possibly find your exact location just by knowing your phone number? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? This is the reality of location hacking, a technique that can pinpoint your whereabouts with unnerving accuracy. Welcome to Cyber World YT, your trusted guide to the labyrinth of the digital realm. In today's episode, we are pulling back the veil on this intriguing and somewhat unsettling aspect of cybersecurity. We'll explore the methods, the tools, and the implications of location hacking, providing a comprehensive overview of this complex subject. Whether you're an ethical hacker, a cybersecurity enthusiast, or simply a curious mind, this video will offer you valuable insights. So fasten your seatbelts, folks, as we embark on this thrilling journey into the hidden corners of the virtual world. Today, we are going to dive deep into the world of location hacking. First off, what exactly is location hacking? Well, it's a bit like a digital detective game. Location hacking is an umbrella term that refers to various methods employed to determine the physical location of a device. Yes, you heard that right, a device. It could be your smartphone, your laptop, your tablet, or any other gadget connected to the internet. Now you might wonder how this is even possible. How can a device's location be determined? This is where things get interesting. You see, every device that connects to the internet has a unique identifier called an IP address. This address can provide information about the general location of the device, but that's not all. Hackers can also use other identifiers, such as the number associated with a device, to track its location. So, why would someone want to know your location? Well, there are a number of reasons. Perhaps they're trying to target you for a scam, or maybe they're attempting to steal your identity. In some cases, they might just be curious. But whatever the reason, it's important to understand that location hacking is a very real threat. However, it's not all doom and gloom. While location hacking can be used maliciously, it can also be used for good. For instance, law enforcement agencies often use location data to track down criminals. Similarly, ethical hackers use location hacking techniques to test the security of systems and devices, helping to make them more secure. But it's not just about finding a device's location. Location hacking can also involve manipulating a device's perceived location. This is known as spoofing, and it can be used to bypass geographical restrictions on certain websites or services. So that's the basic concept of location hacking. It's a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or for ill. It all depends on who's wielding it and what their intentions are. So how do hackers pull this off? Let's delve into that. Because understanding the process is the first step to protecting yourself and your devices from becoming targets. Hackers have a variety of techniques at their disposal to track a device's location. These methods often rely on creativity, cunning, and a deep understanding of technology. Let's delve into some of the strategies they employ. Firstly, there's the use of IP grabbers and seekers. These are clever tools designed to trick unsuspecting victims into revealing their locations. How do they work? Well, they create a link that, once clicked, can reveal the location of the device used. Just a simple click, and voila, the hacker now knows where you are. Next up, we have phishing. This technique involves sending deceptive links or messages that appear legitimate. The victim clicks the link thinking it's safe, and just like that, the hacker has access to their location. It's a crafty method that relies heavily on social engineering, which is the manipulation of people into performing specific actions or divulging confidential information. Then there's account intrusion. This is where a hacker will gain access to personal accounts, such as Gmail. Once inside, they can utilize features like Find My Phone to trace the location of the device. It's a more direct approach, but it requires a great deal of skill and knowledge to execute successfully. Each of these methods presents its own challenges and requires specific skills. However, they all share a common goal, to find the location of a device without the owner's knowledge or consent. And one of the most common methods is cellular triangulation. This technique involves using the signal from cell towers to pinpoint a device's location. When a phone communicates with several towers, the overlapping coverage areas are used to calculate its exact position. It's a complex process, but it's incredibly effective. These are just a few examples of how hackers can track locations. It's a fascinating, albeit somewhat scary, insight into the world of hacking. But remember, knowledge is power. By understanding these techniques, we can better protect ourselves and our devices from potential threats. Cellular triangulation sounds complicated, but the concept is actually quite simple. It's all about using the geometry of triangles to pinpoint a location. So how does it work? 
Well, whenever your cell phone is on, it's in constant communication with nearby cell towers. Each of these towers has a known fixed location and a specified range of coverage. When your phone connects to a single tower, we can only determine that you're somewhere within that tower's range, but this information isn't very precise. However, when your phone communicates with two or more towers, things become interesting. The overlapping coverage areas from these multiple towers create a series of intersecting circles, each centered around a tower. Where these circles intersect, that's where you are. This is the principle of cellular triangulation. By analyzing the signal strength from each tower and the distance between them, it's possible to calculate a device's precise location. Now, you might be wondering if it's that simple, why isn't everyone doing it? Well, there are a few hurdles. First, access to real-time cell tower data is heavily regulated and protected. Second, the accuracy of cellular triangulation can be affected by various factors, including the density of cell towers, signal interference, and even the weather. Despite these challenges, cellular triangulation is a powerful tool in the right hands. It's used not only by hackers, but also by law enforcement and emergency services to locate missing persons or track criminals. It's a reminder that technology can be a double-edged sword. It can both protect and invade our privacy. But that's not all. There are also several tools available for ethical hackers to test a system's security. These tools, which we'll discuss in the next scene, can help us understand potential vulnerabilities and develop better protections against location hacking. Kaylee Linux is a favorite among ethical hackers, and for good reason. This open source platform is packed with tools that can help you test and strengthen the security of systems. Today, we're focusing on a few tools that can be used for location hacking. But remember, these tools should only be used in an ethical and legal context. First off, we have NGROC. This handy utility creates secure tunnels from a public endpoint, such as the internet, to a locally running network service. With NGROC, ethical hackers can expose a local server behind a NAT or firewall to the internet, which can be useful in testing the security of that server. Next up is Seeker. This tool is particularly relevant to location hacking. Seeker works by hosting a fake website that requests location permissions from its visitors. When someone grants these permissions, Seeker captures and reports their location coordinates. It's a clever tool, but also a stark reminder of why we should be cautious about giving location permissions online. Finally, we have IP Locator. As the name suggests, this tool helps you determine the geographical position of an IP address. It's a straightforward tool, but it can provide valuable information during an ethical hacking exercise. These are just a few examples of the tools that Kaylee Linux has to offer. Each tool is a powerful piece of software that, in the wrong hands, can be used to infringe upon privacy and security. As ethical hackers, it's our job to use these tools responsibly, to identify vulnerabilities and help improve security measures. But remember, with these tools comes great responsibility. It's important to always have explicit permission before testing any system. Unauthorized hacking is not only unethical, it's also illegal. So, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible but always stay within the boundaries of what's legal and ethical. Use your skills to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. While location hacking can be useful for ethical hackers, it's important to remember that unauthorized tracking is illegal and unethical. The digital world is a vast, interconnected landscape where our actions can have far-reaching consequences. When we speak of location hacking, we are navigating a thin line between ethical hacking, which is aimed at improving security, and malicious hacking, which infringes on privacy and is punishable by law. Every country has its own set of cyber laws, but universally, unauthorized access to someone's location data is a breach of privacy rights. For ethical hackers, it's important to always obtain explicit permission before conducting any tests or probing systems for vulnerabilities. This not only protects you legally, but also helps maintain the trust and integrity that's so vital in the field of cybersecurity. Remember, the goal of ethical hacking is to bolster security, not to exploit it for personal gain. It's about helping individuals and organizations protect their digital footprint and maintain their privacy. It's a profession rooted in trust, responsibility, and respect for others' rights. So, always ensure you're using your skills ethically and responsibly. And that, dear viewers, is a brief overview of location hacking. We've taken a dive into the intricacies of this digital art, from understanding its fundamental concepts to exploring the methods employed by hackers. We've seen how they can use tools like IP grabbers and seekers, phishing techniques, and account intrusion to trace locations. We've also delved into the science of cellular triangulation, a method that uses cell tower signals to pinpoint a device's location. 
And for those of you on the side of ethical hacking, we've highlighted some of the invaluable tools Kaylee Linux offers, including ngrok, Seeker, and IP Locator. But remember, with these great skills comes great responsibility. Unauthorized tracking is not just illegal, but also unethical. So as we journey into the depths of the digital world, let's keep our intentions clear and our actions accountable. Remember, knowledge is power. Use it wisely, stay ethical, and keep pushing the boundaries of digital security.